reserve is a 15,000 acre nature reserve located 80 kilometers northwest of Quito. It's one of the most biodiverse places on earth. We have uh, over 1,900 species of plants, over uh, close to 400 species of birds, and thousands and thousands of uh, insect species. research, we're learning how to better manage the forest. It is possible to make a living without exploiting the environment. So this is a way to do it responsibly. Aquí Pukinga Lodge is a great place to be for several reasons. Uh, one of them is because basically it's built with uh, materials that are planted around. If you could see it, it's made with native bamboo, which is one of the strongest materials in the world. And also visually, uh, it very much is merges into the surrounding forest. Research is very important to Makipukuna, both to the foundation and to the Eco Lodge, because through research we have been able to understand the ecological importance of this place, as well as to justify the importance of conserving this area. We are trying to collect the highest amount of moths using this white sheet uh, and a really powerful bulb to reflect the light to the forest and get the best diversity sample. And we aim to recover the knowledge and the diversity of Ecuador. Maki Pukuna is really important uh, in this sense because it's one of the last cloud forest reserves and we know that this reserve is going to maintain the forest and the ecosystems in a healthy way in the future. To complement the research that we do, we have set up this lab. It's to research propagation methods for endangered orchid species. But the other objective of this lab is to reduce the pressure on wild plants. There is an incredible level of poaching and just harvesting or collecting wild plants to sell them in the city. So what we're doing is just collecting the seed pods, uh, propagating the thousands of seeds that come into one, uh, transplant them into test tubes and sell them uh, as, as flower pots in, to people in Quito and, and reduce the pressure on the wild plants. Or we can transplant them back into the wild. Areas that have been degraded between conserved areas in the highlands can be restored into shade-grown coffee areas. Shade-grown coffee then becomes like a bridge between conserved areas. It is better for wildlife, but it also provides direct income for many communities. Former employees at Makipukuna from local communities, like Francisco Molina, now runs his own lodge. He got his training here while working as a lodge administrator assistant. Thanks to the help of Makipokuna, their ideas of conservation motivate us to do the same thing. We try to work together to reinforce the ideas of conservation and to make each other stronger. Santa Lucia used to be an agricultural co-op without any other means to make an income than cutting the forest or establishing cattle. And now they actually have a lodge and 12 families make a living out of conserving their forest as opposed to cutting the forest. When Fundación Maquipocuna first came here, they were looking for some locals to work 
and someone recommend me. And this uh, was really helpful for me because I was a very shy person and now I'm more open to the people. When I look back and I remember that we started with a dream to set 100 hectares as a protected area and a little project and I see what it has become, I guess it makes me proud. I know we have still a lot of work to do, but uh, I guess it gives meaning to our lives.